What's going on, people? It's your boy Dre, and today we finna talk about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We finna talk about practice. Shout out to your boy AI. But nah, we finna talk about practice. And what I mean by practice is when you get your when you start concealed carrying, and this, and this is this is talking to the ones before you actually start carrying. There's a rough transition between not carrying and carrying everywhere you go. So basically, what I'm going to recommend is practicing what you want to carry, what gun you're going to carry in an outfit that you may potentially carry it in. And I wouldn't recommend carrying a firearm before you have a CHL. I mean, you can get away with it, but you're gambling, you know. If you get caught with it, you know. But like I said, you want to practice. You want to practice a concealed method. And just put some, maybe put some clothes on in the house and have it on. Because the worst thing well. You can you can let your first trip be a practice, but you know me, I'm the kind of person I like to know what I'm walking into. So I put an outfit on and wear it in the house and just get used to having a firearm on my person. And also you want to practice a draw from wherever it is that you that you carry. So like just you know, typically Say inside the waistband, you carry in there. You just throw on maybe t-shirt, shorts, pants, whatever you wear. Put it in and just sit around the house. Watch a movie. Watch a movie with it on. Watch TV. Watch TV with it on. Uh, get up and sweep the kitchen. You know, whatever you do around the house. Just do it with the firearm on you so you can uh, get used to carrying in public. Like I said, I'm speaking before you get a CHL because after you get a CHL, you're gonna be carrying and it's going you're gonna already be used to it. But that that transition is pretty rough. I mean, I like pocket carry. You know, pocket carry is the most comfortable. You know, I'm used to carrying this out the waistband, but I love pocket carry. And I actually found out before this video. You know, see, this is my Beretta Nano. I just found out right before I started recording that I can conceal a Glock 27 in my back pocket. You know, see, now I have a baby Glock back there, <laughs> you know, and that's not, you know, in my shirt. My shirt comes over my pocket, so it's not going to do any bulging. You know, probably a pocket pistol probably bulge like a wallet, so it's gonna, you know, it ain't it won't give too much away. But my pants are, uh, well, my pants is a little bit bigger, so I can get away with a Glock 27 back there. And I don't know. I'm gonna actually try test that out, and this actually fits in my uh, Uncle Mike, my Uncle Mike pocket holster size four. So yeah, I thought that was reserved just for my Beretta and my Ruger SC9. They fit just fine. But yeah, just get put it on practice and practice a draw. You might want to see how how fast you can get get it out. But it's best to probably do that at the range. Or I mean, and plus all my. My firearms are unloaded. Let me uh, give you a visual. One on you. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely want to practice. Well, I would recommend practicing instead of saying, okay, my first time carrying is an actual experience or whatsoever you go somewhere you're uncomfortable as hell because either way it go 
that transition, you're going to be uncomfortable. And then after you do that, make sure you're practicing a draw from that because in the event that you have to use it, you're going to have to draw. So, I mean, and whether that be, if you you may want to go under the shoulder with something, uh, you may want to go inside the waist, which is, you know, a normal, which is a normal carry inside the waistband. Uh, pocket or uh, ankle holster maybe that's your thing ankle you know if you can't conceal anywhere else I'd never conceal on the ankle because I couldn't get to it you know you have to go down and, and you know pull your pants up you know I. but you know if you can't conceal anywhere else I'm not saying not carry there because, because the, the idea is take it everywhere you go I mean, it make it only makes sense to take it everywhere you go. It wouldn't make sense to say I'm in less trouble today than I was yesterday, or there's a more potential threat tomorrow than it is today, or though you know, I don't know. Me may be you may feel like you're going to a more hostile environment, but me personally, I just don't. I don't underestimate anywhere. If I got I got the license, I'm carrying wherever I go. If I can't carry there, I won't go there. That's just how I feel. But you definitely practice, practice a draw. Don't shoot yourself, please. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just saying, just practice a. I'm really, I really focus on practicing a pull and draw. You know how, how fast can you get it out? You know. You see, look, that got caught in the shirt that time. <laughs> but it's definitely some things you want to think about because you know, just you know, it's a video I just made. You know, just because you can see a Karen, it doesn't mean that your problem is completely solved. You know, you have something that. First of all, you want to make sure that you got your mind right. You're paying attention. And for two, you want to make sure you got, you know, a draw right. Or, you know, maybe if you wear two, say you wear two shirts, you may want to leave. You may want to leave the undershirt tucked under your uh, firearm and your top shirt. Maybe that's, maybe that's faster for you, you know. You know, just an idea, you know. Definitely something to look at. Make sure you practice practice what you want to carry and what you could potentially carry and practice a draw from that carry, you know. And uh be safe.